freaking at the Freakers Ball, y'all, right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com. That's right, Boogie, to you go blind. Uh, welcome. This is the Freakers Ball. It is Friday night, September 28, 2018, and we're live on RealLibertyMedia.com. Just go to the Freakers Ball show page there from the drop down, or you can go to the channels page, however you like to get there. Come on over. Freakers Ball, and you'll be here with us and all the great people that are here tonight, and all of those that are um, maybe somewhere else out there listening on the audio stream and the various places it goes. But uh, let me just say howdy to the folks over there at realliberty.org. If anybody's over there tuned in, welcome to y'all. If you're on Freedom's Network and you're tuned in, welcome to you too. If you're on, on Minds.com, Welcome to you too, <laughs> or Twitter, or uh, wherever else we are. We're, we got the we got the audio feed on, on tuned in on internet radio, all, all kinds of places. But the video feed's really where you want to be, and that's there, right there on on RealLibertyMedia dot com on the uh, drop down that the uh, Freakers Ball show page there on the show page drop down. You come on in and join us. Or you can go, if you want, go, go on over to vonlive.tv slash Media. That's uh, that's where the, the feed originates from. So check that part out, too. Um, oh, look at that. I think I, I, think I, I, think I slid my mic, my mic mic volume down a little little more than I wanted to. Uh, I, was, I was goofing with some stuff there a bit earlier. <laughs> and it might have come down a little too low. All right, that, that should be better. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're not, if you are in any of those places, it don't matter where you're at. Um, what are we doing here? Are people losing us? I don't know. Whatever. Um, come on over to uh, the, 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 the chat here, and you can do that through the web page, or if you have your IRC client, go to irc.freedo.net. But it's there on the show page, on the Freakers Ball show page. And you can talk to all the great folks that are here today. Tonight, this evening, today, I guess it's day somewhere, I don't know. It's not day here, that's all I know. Um, <laughs> anyway, but we got a whole bunch of great folks here, we always have a bunch of great folks here, oh, 40 or so folks here in the, the chat that will be uh, yakking it up with us, talking, and making requests, and, and, and uh, just doing, you know, conversating back and forth with us here during the show. It, myself... I say us, I say me and Moose Girl. The mighty Moose Girl. There she is. She's here. <laughs> I am here. Yeah, so uh, come on over to the chat. Yeah, you know, sometimes we read off the folks' names in there, but yeah, whatever. They know who they are. If they're listening, hi. <laughs> hi, everyone that's listening. And if you're not listening, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> We can make noises at you. It don't matter. Anyway, hey Moose, how the heck you doing? I'm hanging in there, you know. Made it through another week. It's always good. That's a, that is always good. Hey Rob yeah. works. I'm firing up that bubbler. I um. Good man. I uh got bit by a spider though last weekend. Uh oh. And it's on my hand. Uh huh. Left hand. And it's not too bad. It's just it's irritating. It's it's. I think it's getting better, but today it looks a lot better. And what uh, what kind of spider? I have no idea what kind of spider. I didn't even know I got bit until I felt the itch and looked out and seen that there was a bite. You know, a little bit of a bite mark. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like <sighs> I know. I, I mean, okay, it's the time of year that they're looking for places to get warm and be warm because it's getting to be cold here. Sure. So they want to be in your house <laughs> and, like, in the porch. So I'm messing around with – I think it happened when I was messing around with Zach's baseball bag out there. Look, Rob's, tr Rob's trying to kill you. Really? Oh, well, he's telling you to rub onion on it. Onion? I don't have it. I don't know. Here, that that sounds that sounds like a deadly thing. I, well, I would, that would be to you. But I, I would avoid hurt. that. I would avoid that. <laughs> it's just it, it's it's just it's it's painful, and it's not yeah. a big area. It's it's a small area, but it's it's really it's really weird. Well, I, it's just, not like just, getting better. You, you just let it be. Maybe put some of the the. Uh, 
the uh, calamine lotion on there, something like that. What do you, what do you got? I got stuff. I don't know. Anti-it stuff. <laughs> coconut oil. I, I don't know. I got coconut oil. I don't know if that'll work. I have no idea what, what works on, on spider bites. But. No, I don't either, but... I think you a did. friend of mine, another friend of mine, old player, got bit by a spider on her leg, and she went to the ER. But they told her to just ice it and take Benadryl. So. All right, well, there you go, then. Ice yeah, I've been Benadryl. taking Benadryl, but it's not touching it. And I've been taking Echinacea, too. Not yeah, I don't. I don't know that echinacea works on poisons. Um. <laughs> well, it's an anti-inflammatory. Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, just do the ice thing. I guess I don't know. I, 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 I don't ask. At all. Actually, don't ask me for opinion on that because I have no information on. Yeah, no, treat, I'm not asking for opinion. I'm just treat, saying. Treat after. spider bites. I have taken Benadryl. That's and, and where, where'd you say it was on your hand? Yeah, on my hand. All right. Fucker was probably in the baseball bag, and I put my hand in there, you know. Yeah. yeah. They hide out like that. I had to smash the spider the other night. I didn't feel good about it. Yeah, I I let some. I I kill some. I let some live. I I, 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 I usually live. leave them be, but this one he's like walking right across the front edge of my desk here, and I was like, hey. There's a zone. This is the zone that you're not allowed in. <laughs> yeah. The fast movie ones, they usually die. And then the other or two weeks ago, there was a little spider crawling across my desk. And I'm like, oh, hell no, bitch. You're dead. Yeah, yeah, this little guy. Spiders outside. Uh, the, the, spiders do not survive in my house. I don't even know what this one was, but he was trucking along pretty good, so. Yeah, the fast ones, I, I kill. I had a daddy long legs around here. I didn't kill him. Yeah. They're slow and they're harmless. They don't do anything. They are like the most deadly spider, but they don't. They can't bite through human skin. Wait, well, if they're the most deadly, that don't sound harmless. But they can't bite through your skin. <laughs> right. They don't have the bite strength to, to uh, okay. harm anybody because they're so their their jaw. They don't have the bite strength. All right, all right. I, I mean, I'm just saying what I've heard. I've heard I, that I, before. I, the chief that. Yeah, I I've, I've never. Yeah, I never. I never bothered. If they could the, bite people, they would be the best, the most deadly spider. I never bother those guys either. I just let them be. Yeah, I let them be. They're yeah. fine. They don't bother me. Those kind. Those kind. Yeah. Some people are really deathly afraid of spiders, though. Mm-hmm. Like arachnophobia is a real psychosis thing or a real thing. Oh, and what a great movie too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but some people are deadly, deadly afraid of, afraid of snakes. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I I don't love them, but I'm not, like, in fear of them. I mean, I just think they, they exist on the planet for a reason, and you just got to respect them. They don't make me go into a fucking panic attack, though. Right. Yeah, most, most, most critters are fine. Just leave them be. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not coming after you. Uh, no, I'm not going to be doing that, Vinny. Thanks, though. <laughs> That's a hell of a suggestion there. Just zap it. <laughs> zap it, yeah. That's what I should do. Just, get your, just break out your taser there. And Kill just, myself. I, the spider bite would probably be better. Just, just tase yourself. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Thanks uh, for the suggestion, Vinny, but God. I think I'm going to go another route. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You can use some, uh, make a poultice out of some cheap weed leaves. Yeah, or something. I don't yeah. know if that would do anything, but... It, it fixes everything else. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well try it. I don't know. It's not super bad yet. It's not like the skin is, you know, de what do they call that when it's dying? Uh, necrosis. Necrosis, yeah. I don't have that going on yet. So. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. No, I know there's 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 good medicinal. I mean, when I get leaves, I can make Gons of butter out of fucking leaves. That's what you do. Because there's, there's THC in the leaves and the stems. That's right. why I save all my stems. Because there's THC in them. And the sure. leaves. Yeah. So 
So you say I save all my stems, probably get a good little stash, you know. I don't, it's gotta be a pretty big stash, but I don't think uh, spiders can read, Grammy. No. I don't think they can. Yeah, so you put your spiders not allowed sign on the door or whatever. Yeah, spiders need to stay outside. They they sure. just they're just not gonna read the sign. They don't care. No, oh, they don't care. They can't read. They'll just come right in. They're like, Fuck you, I don't read <laughs> <laughs> And they, could, those fucker, that wolf spider, he could see me. They got those black beady eyes. You know, they're little tiny little pinheads, but they're fucking, they're eyes. Those spiders, they could see you coming. You know, I, I got him though. Oh yeah, they could see. He yeah. knew he was dead as soon as I, I made eye contact with him. He knew he was gone. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Hell no, I can't have no wolf spiders in my house. No. Baking soda, well, yeah, that, that'll I, take care of the itch and stuff like that. I don't think I have uh, lavender, though. I did, I think it's gone. Well, she didn't say and, she says or, so you, you got baking right. soda. Right, I could try that mixture she sent me. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I'll try that, Grammy. I'll put some of that stuff you sent me on there. All such useful information. In case anybody ever gets a spider bite. And you just go run back to this episode here of uh, September 28, right. 2018. And you'll listen, hear all the various uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> remedies it's for... It's so tender, though, in that spot. It's really weird. It had to have been a wolf spider or something like that. It, it wasn't just your average... Well, I've had spider bites before, but this one, this one, it was a, it was a bad one. It was a bad spider that took me. Yeah. Not a tarantula or anything deadly, but it was enough to leave a mark and put the poison in there. Sure, sure, sure. So, yeah. I'll just keep babying it here. And during the break, I will uh, get that oil that Grammy sent me and put it on there. All right, well, let's do a break right now. Get this thing All kicked right, off. Do that. Kicked off in the right direction. All righty, then. And we are going to start y'all off. Well, there's going to be a oh, not break there. Of <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I, was clo- I was close to where I wanted to be. Anyway, we're, we're going to start you off uh, <laughs> with a little bit of Nashville pussy. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> off, of, you know, off of their brand new album. Pussy, you better be Nashville. <laughs> I'm telling you. Enjoy, people. And this particular track is called She Keeps Me Coming and I Keep Going Back. Yeah, that is Unleash the Archers there doing their track 10,000 against one. That uh, video just came out September 13th. So uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, Not very long ago, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Anyway, uh, before that, we had uh, For the Moose Girl, Trampled by Turtles, and Where is My Mind? And we kicked it off there with Nashville Pussy, off of the brand new album, which is is called Please to Eat You, with a track called She Keeps Me Coming and I Keep Going Back. No, no, not, not really any innuendo there, pretty much direct, straight stuff. (laughs) <laughs> I think we all know what we're t- what they're talking about on that. <laughs> pretty pretty sure. Anyway, uh, anyhow, so Moose Girl, you still out there? What, what, what's going on there, Miss Moose? Yeah, I, I'm here. I'm uh, here. All right, all right. Was positive? Was positive? All right, all right. I got a little bit of oil on the plate now. Oil. Some stuff that Grammy sent me. Okay. Well. So yeah, it it it, it feels okay. Okay. Night there, Vinny. I mean, we'll see if anything. You know, the itching seems to be less. Well, that's good. So that's good. I mean. Yeah. No, that's good. So yeah. Um. I'll just deal with that. I'm gonna live. I will make it. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Yeah. Um. I mean, I mean if, it was, if it was deadly, I, I think you'd have known by now. What, yeah. What, what, uh, what, uh, when, when did you get this bite? 
like last weekend, Sunday. Oh, okay. Yep. So yeah, I think if it was deadly, you'd, you'd figure it out by this point. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 amazing though how how long that's staying in there though. Right. It kind of scabbed up on the bite marks, but underneath, it's swollen and you know, it's red and swollen a little bit. It's really weird. Yeah. But anyway, um, I will make it. Okay. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that. It's good to know. I. I would uh, miss you if you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just found the story, and it's weird. I've never heard of this before. And I'm just like, okay, what's up with this? So oh, wait, before, 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 you, before you do that, I just want to mention, I don't have a story to go with it, but uh, apparently Dickie Betts is doing okay. Good. So, All right, so go to your Good. story. Good news. All right. So, I just found the story while the break was on. Someone posted it on Facebook. All right. Um, MVP pellets. Property owners near the Mountain Valley Pipeline and Grassy Meadows are speaking out after a foreign pellet. I believe this is Virginia. (laughs) West Virginia. Summers County. A pelleted substance rained down on a farmer and his children while harvesting ginseng on their property near Grassy Meadows. Neil LaFerry owns Blackberry Botanicals, an organic certified farm that sits adjacent to the path of the Mountain Valley Pipeline. He explains, saying, a helicopter flew over, and about 10 seconds after it flew over, pellets started to come out and drop through, pelting myself, my children. According to the EPA spill report, the pellets are EarthGuard, a product to prevent erosion and provide soil stabilization. The pellets were intended for the path of the pipeline, it fell over a quarter of a mile away from the pipeline path. The EPA still report says the pellets were dumped two more times on the farm. Neil LaFerry says the pellets have covered nearly three-fourths of his farmland. LaFerry explains that the damage is permanent, saying, I asked specifically of the environmental specialist, is there anything we can do to clean this up? And he said specifically, no, there's absolutely nothing you can do to clean this up. The LaFerry say, Substances in the pellets aren't organic and could void their farm's organic certification, diminishing their livelihood. Best LaFerry states, explains saying, non-organic black cohosh is is $5 per pound. Organic is 38. Neil LaFerry expresses his frustration saying, it just feels like we've been steamrolled, abused, like they just don't care. Well, you're right there, dude. They don't fucking care. Right. In response to the in response, the Mountain Valley Pipeline received, released the following statement: "We are aware of this unfortunate incident and have initiated additional precautionary message, message, measures to prevent these types of issues from happening in the future. We will work directly with the landowner to address his concern, his issues and concerns related to the incident." Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. This is. It's stuff like this that uh, it, it pisses you off. As you know, well it should. There's no way they could clean it up, apparently. It, it wasn't supposed to be there. It wasn't supposed to be dropped on their organic farm. Oops. Then we dropped it a quarter of a mile away from where the pipeline happened. Yeah, well. You just this have is to... a bunch of bullshit here. This is time for, time for a big lawsuit there. This is yeah, but you know what? He's going up against the fucking government. Well, the still, EPA. they they they, they damage his crap. Right. I mean, wrecked his field. Basically, I mean, if if they lose their organic certification, they'll have to move well, to be organic a, again. Big bigger lawsuit. It, it, what the fuck? I'd be pissed. I'd be I, really fucking pissed. I, 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 I understand. I would be too. And this this is the first time the guy's figuring out that the government don't give a fuck about you? <laughs> well, that's, Dude. that's most people, you know. Really? Uh, yeah, well, most people... Okay, they, 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 most they, people think that the government cares about them until some bullshit like this happens. Right. You know, and then they fucking wake up. Well, sometimes. It's like, dude... I, I I feel bad for you. 
you. It's bullshit, truly. But you're gonna have to go to fucking court over these motherfuckers now. Yeah. You know, to get your 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 justice, which you're not gonna get it completely. No, no, certainly not. So yeah, I feel bad for the guy too, man. But what are you gonna do? I uh, mean, this can't be the only person that's happened to. No, well, you you remember that that. Uh, uh, EPA was up there saying they were, oh, we're going to clean up this mine up here, and then they yeah. they wound up releasing billions of, of gallons of chemicals into that river, not just screwing up one person, but screwing up people all down the river. Um, and and they yeah, said they, don't care. they were like, eh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. If somebody else had done this, we'd go after them, but we did it, so it's not a big yeah. deal. It, it, you know, this is I, I this did. Is why why yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, the Environmental Pollution Agency. I mean, yeah. seriously. Yeah, the extreme extreme pollution assholes. Right. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, it's okay if we do it, but... Yeah. You know... Oh, my God. So, anyway, uh, I know, it's, it's, it's a terrible thing, but... Uh, I, I do, I do <laughs> have, I, I do have a, a link to that uh, uh, Dickie Betts thing. Oh, okay. So uh, here, here it is for y'all. But uh, uh, basically, it just says the uh, surgery, brain surgery, deemed a success. Good. Um, Almond Brothers Band founding member Dickie Betts had successful surgery after slipping Good. and hitting his head. Uh, Dickie Betts' website says the Ramblin' Man and Blue Sky singer-songwriter and guitarist underwent surgery surgery last Friday on the swelling. Uh, post a statement posted Saturday on the website says. Betts and his family said the outpouring of support from all over the world has been overwhelming and amazing. We are so appreciative. Uh, last month, uh, Betts suffered a mild stroke and had to cancel upcoming dates uh, with Dickie Betts' band. He had a brain were, bleed, basically. Were, well, no, but last month he also had a stroke. Oh, oh, I didn't so, know. Okay, yeah. that's probably why he fell that. Uh, it, well, it's possible. Anyway, so, uh, anyway, here's the, here's the link for that. Um, okay. In case anybody's interested and, and wants to. Yeah, no, cool. You know, very cool. Band. Glad to hear he's doing well. Yeah. Better. So ho hopefully, Good. hopefully he'll be fine and. Yeah. All that. Anyway. Okay. I mean, okay, the Kavanaugh thing. I <laughs> haven't been watching the, the hearings or anything. All right. But this is what I told my son yesterday. I said, why wait? If this lady was so fucking traumatized by what fucking happened to her back in fucking high school, why did she wait 35 fucking years to come forward and say, oh yeah, this dude did this? Uh, okay. Whatever. I, I, I'm sorry. I mean, okay, she, I know there's like no statute of limitations on rape or whatever. No, actually, there is. There certainly oh, yeah. is. Yeah, what is it, seven years? Whatever. It, it's not 37 years or 35 years right. or whatever. Okay. <laughs> My other question is, was she 100% sober? Okay. Well, I, I, probably not. you got to know when you're drinking that you lose some inhibitions. Some people lose inhibitions or whatever. When you're in high school and you're not that familiar with drinking, you haven't done a lot of it up to that point probably, right? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but a little bit of the blame is on you just for drinking alcohol and being at a high school alcohol party. Right. Okay? Some of it's on you. Because if you didn't want to get sexually assaulted, you should not have been in that position. You should not have been there to begin with. Okay? Because <laughs> I don't know if you know men. I, I'm, high school I'm, boys. I'm, I'm <laughs> they get fucking drunk. You don't know what the fuck they're fucking doing. All right? Yeah, no, I'm sure the guy's a douche, and and I, I don't know what happened, if anything happened between her and him, uh, whether she's just making it all up for pay, because she's certainly getting a lot of money out of the deal. Um, yeah. And and, uh, and she made up a bunch of, you know, stuff that, that's obviously incorrect, and but the guy's a douche. He's, he, you know, wrote part of the Patriot Act, and so yeah, fuck him. Yeah, I get that. He's fuck a him judge. Too. Therefore, he's a law enforcement official. He's a scumbag. He's a total, he, you know, I, I, no, whether, I know, whether, he, he, okay. whether or not he did. What, we know that. We know that. <laughs> going in. We know he's a fucking piece of shit because he's a fucking goddamn judge. 
he works in the foot. Of but but let's let's put it this way. Let's let's say it this way. Let's say it this way. Okay. Let's say they don't put him in there, and right. they get, and they get somebody else. Yeah. Is he gonna be any better? <laughs> no. And they'll do the same exact thing to him that they did to this. Right. It's yeah. a horse and pony show, people. That's that's dog. It, that's it, dog. It's that, that's dog oh and my pony. God. Dog, dog and pony, Moose Girl. Whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I don't believe this lady. Okay? I don't. I don't believe her. I don't believe I've him. I watched a bit of. Her I, I don't believe any of them. All right, I watched a clip of her testimony or whatever, and the, how many times she blinks her fucking eyes. Sign of a true liar, right there. Sign of a liar. <laughs> Liars blink their eyes. She didn't look credible to me. At all. Uh, and no. my point is, if she was so fucking traumatized by this incident that happened in high school, why the fuck did she wait till he's being nominated in the Supreme fucking Court? Oh, all right? you know, you know, you what know, a cunt. You, you know that, right? that, that they have research teams that go out and look for people. Well, yeah. So, whatever. You know, they go up and dig up dirt on these people. Anyway. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. I don't really care either way. If she had her saying, I, I don't know what they what they plan on doing. And I take that blame, Sock Puppet, because I brought up the whole front hole thing. But anyway, um, <laughs> so, so screw her, screw him, uh, screw all of them. I, 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 I just don't care what they do with, with this stupid thing. I just want it to go away because it's annoying me that it, that it's, you know, Filling up my my Twitter feed and right, it's, right. it's just like people. This is all people are talking about. It's just like holy crap. Who gives a flying fuck? I I, I just I don't get it. It's okay. Three months ago, let's say three. I don't know. I don't know how when they when they actually first nominated this guy to be on the Supreme yeah. Court. But the day before they nominated him. Yeah. Until, in, in all of your life before that. You never heard of this guy. No, I never heard okay. of this fucker. Okay, and up to, a, up to two or three weeks ago, you never heard of this woman. No, <laughs> so, never did. So, well, how could you let these people that are, are really going to have no effect on your life whatsoever uh, occupy so much of your, your, your mind, so much of your time? It's just like, who cares? Because people buy into it. They buy into uh, it. It's just so... So so well, darn to be so a big darn. Deal to be a member of the Supreme Court. Ooh hoo! <laughs> Yay! Douchebag city. You know. <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, can you even name all the people on on, on that on that stupid panel that that are there? I, I know no. some some people can. No, I don't some... know who they are. I have no idea who these people are. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I mean, I, I just. It, it, I mean, I know some of their names, like uh, Ginsburg, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and. Uh, and the, she's like a skeleton. She's ancient. And, and you know, and, they need to uh, have term limits for these some and, of these offices. And who is the coke, the pubic, pubic hair on the coke can guy? He's on That's there, right? Clint, Clarence Thomas. He's on there, right? He's a piece of shit. <laughs> of course he is. Fucking piece of <laughs> shit. Yeah, we can play music. Yeah, let's do that. Time. Take a break. Yeah, let's do it right now. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. Now, I, I I don't know all of these songs. Okay. But I know a couple of them. Anyway, uh, this is a uh, sock block. We'll call that. All this, right. This is, this is a sock block. <laughs> He's been waiting for this. Chomping at the bit. And everybody knows his first song, so here you go. All right. Cool. Yeah. Enjoy, everybody. <laughs> yeah, let me just say, I don't know what I'm going to play before the show. Anyway, that was a, a, a sock puppet uh, request set right there. Pink Floyd, Dogs of War. Prior to that was the Red House Painters doing All Mixed Up which was following the cars doing all mixed up. So, uh, yeah, there, there you go, with uh, the triple play sock block. 
Oh, man. So, uh, all right, where was I? Where was I? Oh, I'm over here. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I never decide what I'm going to play until... And, and until the show start, or to, actually between sets, I kind of look at the, at the list of stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't I don't plan these things ahead. It's uh, whatever, whatever, man, whatever I feel like at whatever time. That, that, that's how we go. <laughs> that's how we go. I'm looking through the list. We're oh, getting well, requests for Haggard. What now? Merle. We're getting Merle requests. No, no, we are not gonna play Merle Haggard. I requested them all. Oh, you did? <laughs> I think so. There's a couple good songs. Oh, God. Kissing Ass. <laughs> Merle Haggard. Just the name alone should be enough to warn you off. He man. was... Okay, I'm a Merle fan. Dude, so Haggard. The, guy, the guy's Haggard. name is Haggard. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh... Yeah, two times as warm and fucking easy as it is in WI. Oh yeah, easily, easily. Yeah, and, and you just wait. It was sixty-five degrees when I left work tonight, and did, they said it's going to get down to twenty-nine tonight. Did, just wait so until wait that's until a huge the uh, drop. wait until the wait, wait until the middle of the winter, Woody, when it's you know like a low of I mean a high of eighty out there, and then Moose Girls at minus forty. Right, yeah, that's gonna be a really big <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what kind of stories I got saved. I don't here. know. I, I let me. I think I got some. Thanks, Chloe. Oh, I, I got some stuff here. Um, this one, I, I think we've already. Well, other other people have talked about it. We haven't talked about it here on this show yet. So we're gonna talk about it a little right now, just because. Well, you know, government loves you. Yeah, no, they don't. Government loves you. It doesn't. It, it shouldn't, government should not be called they. It should be called it. It. Government is a thing. It is it's not a, a person. They are it. Get that through your head. It. Fucking thing. Not a person. <laughs> All right. So here you go. Gover Good Samaritan facing possible charges for, a, for saving animals during the hurricane without a permit. Now, since this article came out, and I think Grammy talked about it on Wednesday, and Kate pointed out that the charges against her have been dropped. But the fact is, they were considering it. They were thinking about it. They were going to do it. So that should be enough right there to give anybody pause. Uh, a Wayne County, North Carolina woman may be charged for helping rescue animals as Hurricane Florence approached because... She didn't have a permit. Oh, fucking permit. So, if I see somebody dying in a car, do I just leave them there to die because I don't have a permit to save them? Apparently. All right, whatever. Her name... You can't be a good Samaritan anymore, Grandma. No, no, no. Uh, Tammy Hedges, an animal rights activist, attempted to be proactive and protect animals as Hurricane Florence enveloped the North Carolina coast and her hometown. She had her group of friends, uh, she and her group of friends, began rescuing animals they found in danger of dying by the rising floodwaters. Each of the animals' exact location was documented, so the owners could be informed following the floods uh, caused by Florence. All of the animals were then transported to a warehouse complete with cages, food, water, pee pads, and litter boxes. Volunteers even slept in the warehouse to make sure the rising flood waters didn't threaten the rescue operation. Some two dozen animals were rescued before Wayne County Animal Control demanded the animals be turned over to them. The officers who arrived to transport the animals to the state-approved animal shelter reportedly told Hedges she was running an illegal animal shelter without a permit, without permission of daddy government. Hedges disputes such allegations and says she and her group were just trying to defend the animal's rights to life. Hedges, uh, like I said, she's been, uh, uh, any charges against her have been dropped, but whatever. According, this was before that. So Hedges may now be facing criminal charges if the resulting investigation concludes she committed criminal acts. 
Frank Saul's animal services manager for Wayne County defended his county's action, saying, If we didn't feel like anything was being done wrong, we would not have taken the animals. Well, what was being done wrong? She was saving animals, protecting them, feeding them. Who uh, turned them in? I mean, who uh, fucking uh, busted their ass? Who, who what knows? Who the fuck, who fuck was that? See, he, but the guy goes on and says... How did she get busted? The guy goes on okay. and says, But that is for the court to decide. Fuck that. <laughs> anyway, just stupid crap like that. And, 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 Vinny, I thought you went to bed. All right. So, uh, uh, unbelievable crap that happens. That's freethoughtproject.com right there. And, um, uh, uh. <laughs> we don't tell people not to talk about politics. Talk about whatever you want. Yeah. I'll just laugh at you. The chat room. I'll just laugh at you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about politics right here, right now. I got All some. Right. I got some politics for you, baby. But we're not supposed to mention it because we're anarchists. Therefore, we're not supposed to talk about politics <laughs> at all. It's just totally ludicrous. No, 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 no. I got. I got some politics right here, right here for you. All right, great. <laughs> From inverse. dot com. Trump urges Congress for money to defend Earth against disastrous asteroids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> it would be a disaster on a scale more than anything we've tried to deal with in our history. <laughs> That's right. Says, Amid delays over the new congressional spending bill, NASA astronomers are worried that they won't get the money to protect the country against asteroids. The country, I don't think asteroids really go after a particular country. Anyway, the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, yes, they have that. <laughs> Once an obscure section of NASA has recently gained attention as astronomers have brought concerns over asteroid impacts into public consciousness. President Donald Trump, I, I, you know, I still can't wrap my, my head around that. That, that phrase, President Donald Trump. <laughs> but there it is. President Donald Trump's administration Puppet Trump. is, is seeking to increase the PDCO's budget from $60 million to $150 million for the coming year. But as the clock ticks down to the Monday start of the new fiscal year for Congress, there is still no section of the bill that specifically addresses the PDCO's budget. Trump wants the bulk of the budget increase, about $100 million, to go towards uh, the upcoming double asteroid redirect test. But what? what? Anyway, while this plan may sound like a bit of a harebrained scheme to make space great again, <laughs> NASA scientists really do think a strategy to, to, to avert potential planet-destroying massive Earth-bound asteroid is worth spending precious tax dollars on. If it were to impact near a metropolitan area, it would be a disaster on a scale more than anything we've tried to deal with in our history. And they really think they can stop one of these things. Uh, just crazy. Anyway, the, the article goes on and talks about all kinds of other just totally bizarre crap, but uh, politics? <laughs> there you go. We're talking about they're, they're trying to stop my buddy, the the, the uh, giant meteor of death. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yes, exactly. NASA is a huge money pit, and 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 they're not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. They are totally on that global warming, f false global warming agenda. Um, so, uh, yeah. But there you go. The, uh, yeah, the, the. <sighs> okay. It talks about the test. Let's, let's tell you about the test here. The DART test would involve an, an uncrewed spacecraft ramming into a small moon orbiting uh, the asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> They're serious about this. 
uh, with the invention of the changing moon's, or with the intention of changing the moon's orbit in... What? Tw- what? What? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, cra- they're, they're, wait, they're gonna crash a little spaceship into a moon and, and hope that they're, wait, they're gonna crash a little spaceship into a moon and hope, ridiculous. and hope to change its direction. <laughs> they're not even going after the asteroid, just a moon, fuck, a moon man? of the asteroid. <laughs> what the fucking mother? Oh my god! It is politics. It's talking about Trump and Congress and 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 NASA and. And, it is all other, and totally ridiculous oh, yeah. ideas of stolen money being is a good re- use of stolen money. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it is okay. politics. Yeah, it's, it is. The Trump retard bullshit. But it wouldn't matter if it was Trump or somebody else. I guarantee you, Hillary, Hillary would be doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yep. Yep. It just don't matter which ass hats in there uh, being an ass hat because well they're all ass hats. Yep. <laughs> oh so, God! All right. I don't know if you remember back like a year ago. Well, actually, February twenty third, twenty eighteen. The right. fucking city wanted the fucking enact this public good ordinance. Oh, oh and your tire tax? Yeah, and no, not the tire tax. A public good organ- ordinance. And it got just an uproar because it was like the Third Reich. Right? Okay. Like, not, you, you're not gonna fucking uh, meet and be in groups in public if you're drinking. Okay, Stuff like that. Yeah, I, I remember something about it, but yeah. Go ahead. <coughs> well, it got totally shot down, right? All right. Anyway, it's back on the table. Of course. They never let it go. Yeah. Okay. So, efforts to curb excessive drinking and no play are back on the table. It's why I'm sorry, bitch. This is Wisconsin. All right? You're not gonna fucking stop this. Right, you you're the you're, you're you're the drunkest state in the nation. We are, and <laughs> Eau Claire is like the second city in in the country to be the drunkest city. That's the fucking Green Bay or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna get shot down again. So people are gonna be like, "Fuck you! You can't tell us what to fucking do." And it's bullshit. It is. It, it's it's complete fucking bullshit. Uh, yeah, no and question. And you got this lady from the health department talking about the dangers of drinking and shit. Well, I see her her husband in the fucking bar. Not that he's getting wasted or anything. He's sitting there having a couple beers. Right. You know, it's like, come on, lady. You know, and it's not just her fault. It's it's the city council and everything. Yeah. It's like, you know what? You people are fucking assholes. You know, and they had some meeting with uh, a neighborhood safety and relations task force made up of university students, law enforcement, fire owners, and city leaders. The task force concluded that alcohol misuse and substance abuse is in fact a problem. For the Eau Claire community. It's a problem everywhere. Right. You're not going to stop this. This is, you can't, you can't be this imposing. This is why, this is why one of the reasons I hate fucking government. Tell me what to fucking do. They think you know, so you're if dead. I'm fucking drunk and I'm driving, I should get arrested. I should not do that. Guess what? I don't do that. I know better than that. Yeah, yeah. I don't need no fucking law to tell me that that's not a good idea. Right. Oh, I well, that, that, that's Willie, Chloe. That's a whole I different deal. I don't need deal. law to fucking tell me to wear my fucking seatbelt. No, it's none of their business. 
I don't need a law to tell me how much I can and cannot drink. If I'm not driving, and I'm not fucking anybody, fucking with anybody else, and I'm fucking wasted, that's my fucking choice. Right. That's my fucking choice. If I want to be fucking wasted, and not bugging anybody else, I, I have a right to be fucking wasted if I want to be. No doubt about it. And I should have a right to smoke fucking motherfucking weed. <laughs> yes, you should. Which is a fucking plant that is beneficial to people. Uh, yeah. I'm sick of this shit. You guys think government's such a good thing? They want to fucking impose this shit on you. Tell you what you can and cannot do. Sure they do. I'm sorry. We are a college town. This is a college fucking town. We got fucking Water Street down there with six college bars. All right? Yeah. You're not going to stop this with your little laws and your shit. You're trying to fucking be like the third fucking right. It's not right. It's going to get shot down again. This ordinance. Right. That they want to impose in the city of Eau Claire. To stop what? Drinking? People are not going to stop drinking in this state or in this city. There's bars in this city that rely on people drinking alcohol. You know, you, you can't do this to the business owners. You can't do this to people. Yeah, they don't care. No, they don't. They, it's back on the table. It got shot down the first time because there was total uproar, which is good. Because it was ridiculous. It was Nazi Third Reich like. Right. Okay. Whoever this motherfucker is that keeps bringing this back is an asshole. Okay. I guarantee you, they love government. Okay, this is the old the old article. There is a right. No, I should have a right. No, it's a human right that I should smoke weed. Okay, that's just a given. All right, for it to be fucking hey, illegal, it's your right. It's your right to do whatever bullshit. the hell, whatever the hell you please, as long as you're not messing with anybody else. I should be able else. to do whatever the fuck I want to my own body, okay? Yeah. Including an abortion. If I want to fucking do that, I should be able to do that. All right. Yeah. Well, you're kind of, you're kind of getting to a gray I get area. Raped, uh, that's right? kind of, that's, getting, that's, you know, that's that's kind of a gray I'm area. Gonna, if I get pregnant, I don't want to have my racist kid. Sorry, I just don't. Uh, you're you're that, you're getting into a gray area there. <laughs> Right, but I'm not asking permission. I don't ask permission. I smoke weed. It's illegal to the it's law. It's illegal. It's a legal establishment. But to me, I am not doing anything fucking wrong by smoking fucking weed. Where is it written? Where you believe it's right? No, it's a human right to be able to do whatever the fuck you want to do to your own fucking body. It should be. All should right. Be. Yep. Prostitution should be, le should be legal. Weed should be legal. A lot of other things should be taken off the fucking books as being illegal. All right? <laughs> Prostitution should be legal. You're damn right. You know? Everything should be fine as long as... Everything's got to make a living somehow. As long as you're not and hurting, you know, as long as you're not hurting somebody else or their property, then you, right. should, you should be able to go. Right. Be able to do it. It's a trade and barter system, people. That's what prostitution is. Yeah. The hell, they got something you trade want. You've got, you, they got what any service is. They you cut my hair, I give you money. Yeah. You fuck me, I give you money. Just that easy, eh? Yeah? Oh, all right. <laughs> you fuck me, you give me money. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it all depends. If I mean, if it was me, you'd probably be paying me. So I, I understand. <laughs> right. I, I, I understand the confusion. <laughs> I'm asking permission based on my post. What post? The public good posit, order? On your no, it's a table. It says on your posit, not on your post. Oh, my posit? What's your, that? Your position. Posit. Your position. My position on what? On whatever. You're asking your permission. Lost, you're, no. you're you're asking permission based on your position. Right? What's not a right? It's a human right. To me, a human right is different than a fucking uh, law legal See? right. Chloe says murder 
murder should be legal, and it is. It's okay. called Roe versus Wade. Theft is it's legal. It's called is taxes. Legal. <laughs> murder is legal because guess what? By the fact that it's on the law saying oh, it's illegal to murder somebody, does that stop people from murdering people? No, it doesn't. Words on paper don't stop people from doing shit. Hey, look. If you could say le murder is illegal, which it is, right? Yeah. But that is only if you get caught. Right? Yeah. It does, the fact that it's illegal doesn't stop people from doing it. Robbing banks is illegal. doesn't stop people from doing it. Smoking weed is illegal. doesn't stop people from doing it. Yeah, I've driven 100 miles per hour a few times. Restrain yeah, orders no, no, no are big bullshit because they're just fucking paper. Okay? <laughs> I'm not following no government fucking pattern. To me, a natural right is a human right that every human has upon birth. Okay? Regardless of what the laws are, and they're wherever they're born. Alright? There's a difference. Yep. I got there a right is. to fucking live, breathe, exist, right? You got a right to do whatever you but damn well right. Damn they well don't please. have a right to exist. Fuck you. I got a right to fucking exist. Gover humans of government turn. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what would you call a human being? Then? Person. <laughs> they they call them persons. A, a Homo sapien. No, they they call you a, they they call you a person. Why, what you, why you gotta fucking go there? You gotta break it apart so much so that you can prove me wrong. Uh, that's how boost they they, really? they they don't they, they, they don't they don't they don't refer how you to you exist prove people wrong also great most they don't refer to you as a human or a homo sapien they refer to you as a person and a person is a corporate hey. corporate entity so that that's right. why they call you hey. that and the way and how you are that way oh uh, yeah you don't want to get caught doing 105. But no. you could do 105 as long as you don't get caught. <laughs> the words folks use. Yeah, semantics again. Here we go. Let's fucking be all fucking pissy and shitty and pick apart every fucking little thing everybody fucking says just so you can feel like you're right. That's right. You feel better when you're right. Everyone does, right? Everyone feels awful when they're right. Oh, sure. yes, I was right. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> so I'm better than you. I was you. right. I was right. Yeah, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, I am supreme. You to get me there, but I'm fucking right. <laughs> I am fucking right. Oh, God, yes. That's, that's what people, that's what a lot of people live for, to be fucking right. Even if they're wrong, they want to feel like they're fucking right. Yeah, they want to fucking feel like, Oh, I'm better than everybody else. I'm smarter than everybody else. Damn right. <laughs> My opinions are better than everybody else's opinions. Yeah. So, yay me. Yay me. Yay me. All right. No problem in the fucking world. It's all well, about what? All well, these selfish people. It's I'm all sure. about me, bitch. <laughs> then you're living on the wrong fucking planet. Yeah. And you're the wrong species. If it's all about you. Yeah. Because it ain't all about you. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see if anybody can answer this question. Where were you when this song was number one? All right, I'm not sure it was ever number one, but it was when it was played a lot on the radio. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so here you go. Tell me, where, where where were you at when this song was... But I'm right, I'm right. Dude. She's right, I'm Moose is right. right. Don't Don't argue, she's right. Now you can argue if you want. But she's still right. <laughs> All right, here we go. about that great stuff Walter Trout with Help Me uh, live at Don O'Dell's Legends that uh, was back from uh, 2012 and Walter is awesome well, yes indeed before that we had the Grateful Dead 
with the weight, and it was kind of like a, a Dennis Hopper tribute video there. And we kicked it off with Jethro Tull and Bungo in the jungle. So, uh, as far as in, in the topic of conversation here in the chat, uh, who's the best? Well, there's only been one best, and that best was Jimi Hendrix. Now, other people... Hey, fuck. What? Fuck. What? Some people can't... Some people don't have no fucking rhythm, dude. Uh, whatever. But Jimi Hendrix... Jimmy Jimi was the you best. Know, I mean, a musician... <laughs> if you can evoke emotion out of me and get me to fucking shake my booty... You're a good fucking musician in my book. I mean, I love all kinds of music. All right, so... Uh, so I'll give creds where creds are due. I'll say, oh my God, that fucker was kick-ass. That show was fucking amazing. <laughs> I say shit like that. So you, you argue that point with me that Jimi Hendrix was not the best. Because you're wrong. I must say... I, I, but <laughs> my point is, and I've, I've dealt with kids and raising kids and them being in sports and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I, no one's the fucking best. Jimi Hendrix was There's the best. There's always going to be someone else that's going to come along that's going to be fucking better than you. <laughs> well, you know? it's, it's, it's always, a little bit of mama truck. There's always going to be someone that comes along that's going to be fucking better than you. It's been, it's been. You know, that's how, the way it is. What, what, what like, year? What year did Jimi Hendrix die? Seventy-one, I think. All right. Well, so it's been uh, whatever forty-six years. Yep. Nobody's came along yet. Bull crap! There's tons of us. I'm not as good. okay. Maybe not on the <laughs> level, but there's like a top five for me of guitarists. And actually, one of my Charlie Parr's on that list, and Jay Lenz is on that list. And no one knows who the fuck they are, right? But that's my list. That's, that's your my list. point. It's an individual thing. It's what what makes what gets you going. Whatever song it is. Whatever it trips you trigger. You, whatever musician it is, and you can go, yeah, to me, that's the best fucking guitarist in the world. And you're entitled to, to, to say that about whatever guitarist you want to say it about. You're entitled to that, you know, because it's your opinion. Wow, buddy guy is self taught right? That's cool, man. Oh. I mean, <laughs> No, no. Okay, but... <laughs> if you could go back and talk to Jimi Hendrix when he was still alive and say, who are your influences, Jimmy? He'd be saying things like Robert Johnson or fucking, you know, these no, no, old timers, no, no. right? No, sock, sock puppets pointed out that, that Jimmy, although he says Buddy Guy learned from Buddy Guy, uh, that Jimmy learned from Buddy Guy, which he did, which fine, that's great, but it doesn't matter. Just because you well, learn from somebody, don't mean you don't wind up better than them. Um, right. It, 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 <laughs> this is what I'm saying. The arguments kind of move. Like, I don't, I don't like. There's a lot of reasons why I don't go to indoor concerts and pay high ticket prices for a three hour or less concert for these big names. It's like, fuck that. You know, I'm not in it for that. I'm in it for the fucking shit that I like. No. You know, and for, for any musician, I don't, I <laughs> hate it when musicians are snobby. I fucking hate that so bad. The musicians I know, the, that I know personally, they're the most down-to-earth motherfuckers <laughs> that you would ever meet. You know what I mean? They have no... They're not in it for the money. They're not in it for the fame. They're in it because they love it. Right. They love it. You know? And I love it because they love it, and they make me fucking want to shake my fucking ass. <laughs> so for, to be all... To get all snobbish about it and start comparing to me, a non-musician, but I do have rhythm. So I'm really, I did take piano lessons. I was in the percussion section in the high school band for a year. So it's not like I'm a total non-musician. <laughs> Leave my nuts out of it. playing a guitar or, or a fiddle or something, no, I am a non-musician, right? I do know guitar and blues. No, but I, I'm not as from a musician standpoint. I think, he, I think he's talking to me. I, I think oh, okay. he, I think <laughs> he points out that because I, I was telling Jimi Hendrix is the best. He says Jimmy learned to play from Buddy, so Buddy Guy is the lesser. Obviously, Buddy Guy is awesome and great and terrific, but he's got a different style. He's not. He's for the blues. He, he, Jimmy was like rock and roll. Well, Jimmy Jimmy was was unique. One of a kind. Unique. Uh, not that Buddy's yeah. not, but Buddy plays the blues and and, and all all, of, all musicians so. to me are one of a kind though. Like, no, any guitar player that 
I've seen, I can't say, oh, they played exactly like <laughs> this other guy. Because, it's, like what Jerry Garcia said, this famous quote by Jerry Garcia, we play the same songs, but we never sing, play the same song twice. Because every time they play one of their songs, it's a little bit different than the one they played before. Right. You know, and you can't sit there, I can't sit there and go, well, Charlie Parr is a better guitar player than Jay Lent. It's like, no. They're both wait, have who, their who's, own who's, talents and their own style. Who's the they, other? They're both equally talented. You know? Who's Jay Lenz? He's in Pertner Sandstone. Oh, okay. He's a guitarist and partner Sandstone. Right, well, he's Absolutely. fine. I, I've he's a heard... writer, writer of, and he's a songwriter. Okay? He's not just a guitar player. He writes songs. He has written many of their songs. Okay. You know? And the way he can pick on an acoustic, it fucking does something for me, dude. It fucking... No one else... I've never seen anyone else play an acoustic guitar like he plays an acoustic guitar. Same with Charlie Park. Same with, if I were to go see Sock Puppet play, I would be like, I've never seen anybody else play guitar like that before. Because it would be a new person that I've seen play guitar. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. Is it all up to the individual what's good, what's not good? <laughs> Sock. But yet, yeah, could, be, could, could, be, could be in the standpoint. agitator, Mr. Puppet. I'm coming from a non-musician <laughs> standpoint. We're, we're not on the same page because you're a musician and I am not. Right? Yeah. So I'm not on the same page. I'm talking from a dancer or a fan perspective. He, he, he's, just, he's, just, he's just missing. That's all. Missing what? Uh, me messing, messing, messing with you. Oh, messing. Oh, messing. He, he's try, try, trying to get yeah, some... Yeah, I know. Try, trying to get some, some stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get my goat, get me going, get me riled up. Oh, God. But that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. I'll give you that. You know, uh, yeah. like I said, though, I'm not, I mean, I, mean, I could do a mean washboard, a mean washboard, a mean tamarine, but that's about, and I'm a fucking hell of a good dancer, so hey. I'm happy. I'm good. You know, I'm fucking good. Yeah, damn right. I, I got it going on here, baby. Take I got that the thing. People can't even fucking dance. It's like, dude, if you can move your body, you can fucking dance. People like don't think that, but I tell people this all the time. They just laugh at me. Non dancers laugh at me when I tell them. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, oh, it's true. If you're human and you're you're mobile, you're a dancer. You can be a you're a dancer. You're already a dancer. They just laugh at me. I can dance like you, an epileptic toad. Right. Don't matter how, <laughs> if, as long as you're moving and getting down in the music, just let the music take over your body and just move how you feel. That's, that's what you do. That's dancing. Oh, wait, 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 well, we got another story here, another politics story. We're going to talk about the politics right here, right now, on the non-political Freakers Ball. And this is... Oh, this, yeah, the non-political... No, we can never say that we're non-political. The non-political Freakers Ball. We, we're going to talk about... We can never say We're going to talk some ball. politics. Politics. So anyway, okay, just because <laughs> someone says that they're an anarchist, doesn't mean that they're not allowed to talk about politics. Okay. This, this, you know, what the fuck? What kind of <laughs> fucked up shit is that? This oh, well, if you're an anarchist, then you shouldn't even talk about it at all. The, you well, shouldn't pay attention to what's going around you at all. Wait, you, wait. You, this, you, this, you, you're going against <laughs> your, 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 your principle. No, I'm not. I'm still a, a fucking anarchist. Oh, but, God. you know, there's a phrase. You should know your, okay. It's good to know your friends, but you should know your enemies better. Okay, well, this, this particular story is directed at the... Uh, Vote harder, crowd. Because <laughs> I know there's some of y'all out there that believe that. Oh, you gotta vote. You gotta vote. You gotta vote. Vote to make a change. You gotta be uh, making. The, you can't make a change. You can't make anything different unless you vote. You gotta be a voter. You gotta buy into the system. Um, here you go. Buying into your system systems. About 25 percent of the world's national elections are determined by Google. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Uh, the Wall Street Journal reported, citing leaked company emails, that the Google employees had looked into altering search results to counter what they saw as Islamophobia and prejudice. However, according to the company, 
None of the suggestions were implemented. They have never manipulated their search results or modified any of their products to promote a particular political ideology. Right. Radio Sputnik talked about the issue with uh, Dr. Roger, Robert Epstein, the senior research psychologist at American Institute for the Behavioral Research and Technology, who wrote a groundbreaking paper about the search engine manipulation effect, which was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of U.S. of A. Sputnik asked, what's your take on the report that stated that Google employees might have been influencing the search? Do you think this was actually the case or just a fabrication? Mr. Epstein said, I'm quite sure that was the case. He asked him an, an either or, and he said that was the case. So can I answer is that? It was, I've been aware of a long time that employees, uh, executives at Google, are very deliberate, mesologic, mes <laughs> methodical, <laughs> and strategic about altering their search rankings in ways that are safe for the company. Uh, just last year, the EU found the fined the Google 2.4 billion euro, especially or specifically uh, for having search results that were biased in favor of Google's comparative shopping service. There's no, there's simply no question that this is done regularly at the company. I believe that the leak we saw a few days ago gave us an accurate indication of what they do. Sputnik asks him, uh, I can understand Google having some type of company manipulation, although they should be neutral. There's been some way, some news recently about some of the executives bemoaning the fact that Donald Trump came to power. They were giving speeches about how, uh, about how sad they were that the Democratic Party hadn't come to power. Have you got any suggestions or personal feelings regarding their intolerance? towards particular opposing political bullies. Epstein replied, I think there's an enormous problem here at uh, be, uh, enormous problem here because my very own extensive research shows that when one candidate or cause or products are favored in search results, it shifts thinking, behavior, and votes quite dramatically. This is quite a serious problem and it needs to be addressed very aggressively by government authorities. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, not just in the U.S., but probably around the world. Um, <laughs> anyway, he goes on with the interview, but it comes down to the bottom line that you're out there and you're voting and you're thinking your vote makes a difference. And if I thought they even actually counted your votes at all, um, yeah. <laughs> they don't. Um, uh, but if I thought they actually counted your votes at all, then the fact that you've been brainwashed and manipulated uh, via, of course, not just your search engines, but but uh, th through your your clap media, clap media doesn't even make any sense. Through your corporate lame ass propaganda machine, then then uh, then that would be one thing. But uh, like I said. It, it's not, your your vote is useless. It, it matters not. You think it matters. You're out there uh, uh, jumping up and down and cheering and giving money to uh, candidate A or cause B. and You're just being fucked with. You're being fucked with. <laughs> they, they are messing with your head to, to get you to buy in to one side or the other of a particular issue or person uh, and it makes no difference. It makes no difference. Your your vote's useless. It's worthless. So, vote yeah, harder. Yeah, I was thinking about this the other day, and I'm like, no, I'm just, I can't do it. I just can't go there and just play along. I I, I can't. It doesn't. I can't. I I, I can't do it. I, if I did, I would feel like shit. But the last time I voted, I walked out of there, and I felt like I didn't do anything. I felt numb, basically. I'm like, okay, that was a big waste of fucking time. You know, I just didn't feel anything at all. I'm like, this is ridiculous. This, I know, I because I know what it's all about. Because right. of the stuff I know at this point in my life, it's just, it's a non, it doesn't do anything for me at all. I, I can't contribute to a, a system and a, a thing that I don't believe in. I just, I can't even... 
I play as little of a role as I have to. Oh my god. You know? <laughs> Uh, Hansel, Hansel and his one track thinking, his one track yeah, exactly. ideas. He's just tunnel vision, dude. He says, if people's votes don't count, then explain cannabis becoming it's illegal. Right. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Really? You just don't get it. I, 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 guarantee, I guarantee you, Hans, if, if they, you know who they are, did not want right. cannabis legal, it right. wouldn't be. Right. Regardless, it doesn't matter what you vote, exactly. who, 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 who your congressmen or governors or senators okay. or mayors or whatever. They okay, don't... Vinny, i got to tell you. Uh, I'm sorry, Graham. Go ahead. No, I, that's, that's good. Go ahead. i got to tell Vinny, though, vocal votes count. Okay, not when it comes to the governor of Wisconsin. It doesn't. All right? Okay, I'm going to use this as an example because it's a perfect example. Scott Walker is bought and paid for by a political act or political action committee that is bought and is funded by the Koch brothers, all right? The other problem with Wisconsin is there's no term limits for governor in this state, which is total fucking bullshit. It's asinine. It's a stupid <laughs> idea. They have no fucking term limits for governor in your state, all right? So guess what? They got some guy running against him, right? Every time they have, there's a govern, election for governor, they, you know, there's always an opponent, you know, running, you know. And uh, every time they got some guy, Tony Evers, is running against them, but he don't have the kind of money that the fucking Scott Walker has. Right. Because Scott Walker's bought and paid for by the political action committee funded by the Koch brothers. So guess what? I know for a fact it don't matter how many fucking people in this state want that fucker out, because we can't, I can't stand the guy, all right? I want him out. But I'm not going to waste my time voting him out, because it's not going to fucking matter. Because the, the position's already been bought and paid for by the Koch brothers. Right. And I guarantee you, on November 7th, I will know that Scott Walker is the governor of this state again. There, sure. Because Tony Evers doesn't have the money. And that's what it takes to get elected. you got to have fucking money. you got to have backing by some rich motherfuckers. And this is why it's a scam. And no, it's a I tell joke you, I, on I, all I, of us. It's a joke on all of us. I go, I, go down, I go down to my P.O. box there, and I pull out all the mail that came over the last week or so. And I'm looking through it as I'm throwing it out in the trash there. <laughs> And there's a political ad from some guy running for whatever senator from from our state, and he says, "My opponent, this woman here, she's corrupt. She's a, a liar. Uh, everything she does is for her own interest. Blah blah blah. And she's a bitch." <laughs> so great. That's that's. I'm sure that's all true. And he, so I throw that in the trash. And there's the one from her. She said, "My opponent, this guy, he's a corrupt, lying bastard." And he all he ever does is stuff for himself, and and he's gonna he wants to kill y'all because he's voting to let the oil people do this that or the other thing. And yeah, I'm sure that's all true too. <laughs> Those, so here's the, here's the two people you got you got to vote for: corrupt lying bastards. That's that's who you got. That that's who you got to vote for. So even if the votes counted, which they don't, but even if they did vote or, or count, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? This, this is your pick. This is your choice of, of who you get to get to uh, to pick from. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't think so. Anyway, I, I was just pointing out that your vote doesn't matter, and that, that's really all. Yeah, to sit there and fucking say I'm wrong, but I know who this fucker is. I did my research on the Koch brothers. I know that he's been funded for years by the Koch brothers. That's why he keeps going. Because there's no term limit. My argument about this shit, if you want Walker out of there, you got to start going and bitching about having term limits for governor. It's the only way to get that fucker out. And it has nothing to do with voting. Nothing. Because he's bought and paid for by a political action committee. Just like most politicians that have power these days, that's exactly how they get into office. That's exactly how they fucking stay there. It has nothing to do with, well, you know, you can't bitch if you don't vote. Bullshit. I can bitch because I can tell you my vote don't mean shit. Why? Because I didn't fund this 
this fucker with a million dollars. Right. Or four million dollars. All right? You need millions and millions of dollars to get in these positions. That's yeah. why they're all fucking douchebag. Right. Because they're all fucking douchebags, all these rich fucking millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> yes, they no are. No one in this chat room <laughs> has, or ever has had, a million fucking dollars. One million. Let alone multiple uh, millions. Okay. Let's move on. Who the fuck do you think you're fucking fooling? It's a big club, and you're not fucking in it. Actually, it's not a big club. It's a small club. Four percent of the population of the world has all the fucking wealth. Yeah. So, go do your math there. You're, you're not, not in it. Four percent. You no ain't them. No one in this fucking room is one of that four <laughs> percent. No one. All right. I would hope not. Anyway, if you well, are, you're. You know, what, you know, are you on a drug trip or something? How did, that, I, I yeah, how did you get here? All right. right. So let's, let's move on. Here's another topic to to, okay. to have fun with. <laughs> Reddit is now quarantining users who question the 9-11 uh, story, and they are directing users to a government site. So Reddit has taken it upon themselves to quarantine users who question the government's official story on 9-11 and are redirected users to a highly tainted government investigation. <laughs> yes, it is. There's, a, there's, a, there's like a banner there. It says, are you sure you want to view this community? This community is quarantined. It may contain a high degree of misinformation. If you are seeking historic information about September 11, uh, please visit the National Commission on Terrorist Attacks uh, upon the United States at 911commission.gov. <laughs> so it's a highly popular subreddit devoted to posting information uh, which proposed information outside the official narrative of 911, and it has been quarantined by the Reddit administrators. The community has effectively been cut off from the rest of the platform, and anyone who wishes to view its contents are forced to go through a checkpoint while being redirected to a government website. On Thursday, the subreddit r slash 911 truth was placed under Reddit quarantine. The Reddit administrators claimed that the subreddit posts misinformation and then directed people seeking information on 911 to the gov official government website. Um, <laughs> so, according to Reddit communities, according to Reddit, communities are placed under quarantine to prevent others from accidentally stumbling upon this information. Oh God, yeah, don't 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 look at the truth. No, that that that, that would be wrong. Um, <laughs> Reddit, like most other social media platforms, has begun to control the flow of information and are crowning themselves. Arbiters of truth. Uh, the idea of Reddit redirecting people away from this open source subreddit to the official 9 11 Commission website is as ironic and as it is ominous, as the 9 11 Commission admitted it was railroaded into their own investigation and is full of controversy. Not only were the commissioners given extremely limited funds to conduct their investigation, but they were also met with dead ends on almost every direction. For starters, only 15 million was given to the to investigate 9/11. Compare that to over 60 million that was spent investigating Clinton affairs with Monica, and the travesty becomes greater. This was the largest act of murder in recent U.S. history, and more money was spent investigating a philandering president. Anyway, I don't really need to, need to go through all this for, for you. It's written by Matt Agarist, not his real name. Uh, and it's posted over here on the freesotproject.com. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's where they're at now with, with this. Is they, they, them, <laughs> from a, a site like Reddit that started off as a, a bastion of free speech, free thought, free talk is is now one of them. Is 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 uh, I, I don't know what to say about it. It's it, it just <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It's also it's, it's also 
I sometimes you just gotta fucking laugh. It's just unbelievable. Like every time, every week, it's like something like this story all the time, every week. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, that's what we do the freaking ball. You gotta laugh it off. You gotta fucking survive. Hear good music. Freaking unwind. You know. Get away, step away from it for a little. Even though we talk about it and stuff, we do it in a way that it's you know different. Like absolutely, online, vent it, vent. So vent. speaking of music and things you should be doing, eh, maybe this song will help you out, get you down in the right Alrighty direction. Alrighty then, let's hear it. Why is that off track? I don't know. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. It's a Friday Speakers Ball. Yeeper. Y'all. She was living in a single room with three other individuals. One of them was a male, and the other two, well, the other two were females. God only knows what they were up to in there. And furthermore, Susan, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to learn that all four of them habitually smoke marijuana cigarettes. Yes, it is. The world you desire is possible. It is real. It exists. That's the uh, John Galt speech from the Atlas Shrugged film. Um, hey. <laughs> Their lead to freedom, Chloe. Follow their lead to freedom. Get get away from your oppressors. Anyway, before that, we had uh, Omar and the Howlers, Hard Times in the Land of Plenty. Before that was Merle Haggard. <laughs> Mama tried. And we kicked her there, off there with a musical request, Sublime. Smoke two joints. And then smoke two more. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Eat out. Who's saying what to eat out? Who, what, who are we eating out? Um. <laughs> we already played that out. I did not take it out of the list. All right. <laughs> oh, better. Eat out more often. As they used to tell you on the, uh, the, uh, was it a straw? Was it somewhere at the restaurant there? You could. They had, a, they had a little slogan, eat out more often, <laughs> which was always humorous. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. But I said, oh, eat, not eat out. There's a big difference between those two phrases. Yeah, certainly. Like I said, you know, because my Rao, Mr. Rao said he could out eat anybody in the chat room. I'm like, I would not contest you on that. Oh, oh. I would never try to out eat you. <laughs> That's what I said. I did not say eat out, but it got turned into that and twisted by these sit fucks in the chat room. <laughs> you know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, oh, God. it's been quite the week, you know. It, and I must say that Grammys oil. My sweater bite is feeling a lot better. I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. I, I, I believe you. I put this concoction oil that she sent me on here. It's got like a. It's really cool. It's got like a roller ball on it, so I can just like put it on there. Right. It doesn't drip or anything. It just dries on there, and I swear it's better. It's getting better. I'm not kidding you. I I, I totally believe you. I'm not making that up. I I I, I totally believe that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Eat uh, out. Eat out more often. I'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Uh, do you want know to I do. <laughs> I should have known better. You know. You know yeah, saying? probably, probably. Yeah. All right. Story of my life. <laughs> All right, so you're on Facebook still, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Okay, well, here's <laughs> here's a little story. Facebook says 50 million accounts affected by security breach. I saw that. And that number is probably more like 90 million. Uh, but whatever, Facebook right. says it recently discovered a security breach affecting 50 million user accounts. The hack is the latest setback for Facebook during a tumult 
for the global social media service. In a blog post, the company says hackers exploited its view as feature, which lets people see their profiles look like someone else on Facebook. Look like someone else. Facebook says it has taken steps to fix the security problem and alerted law enforcement. Doesn't mean they fixed it. They've just taken steps to uh, <laughs> to deal with the issue. Facebook reset some logins, so 90 million people have been logged out. I did. I, <laughs> I, I did play Merle. Um, Weird. <laughs> so if if you're on the Facebook, a first step to me is get the hell off of Facebook. Get off there. Get the hell <laughs> off of Facebook. What are you doing on Facebook? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just I can't do it right now. I, I understand. So if you if you can't, I can't. There's no way. I can't. If if you if you can't get off of there, make sure you go in there and and I don't know change, change settings, password change password, change settings. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's really Probably. required. But uh, get the frick off it's of Facebook. Like, I know, I know, Grim. I know how you hate it so much, but well, it's it just. Uh, I am not. I am active on there, but not as much as some people. Like I don't. I've never posted a picture of what I'm having for dinner ever. Okay. Ever. Now. And I don't post very many selfies. I think I've posted like one self one or like five selfies. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It's yeah. like I do not go all out on this thing. I I I don't know. I, I know I'm trying to justify it. But okay. Well, at least I'll, you know. Uh, if you, if you're on the Facebook, you can at least do something. Get off my password or change or password or whatever. Right. Um, right. But on this okay, one, I'll do that. This one here, I, there's nothing you can really do. Um. Cybersecurity researchers spotted the first ever. UEFI rootkit in the wild, and, and what happens here? And uh, if if this happens to you, uh, if you if you get this, uh, if this occurs on your computer, you're pretty much screwed unless you know how to uh, reinstall your BIOS system uh, on your computer, which is going to just a lot of people will never be able to figure it out. But whatever, researchers at, at ESET have unveiled what they claim to be the first ever UEFI rootkit being used in the wild. This doesn't go after your hard drive. This goes after your BIOS on your computer. Um, uh, allowing hackers persistent malware on targeted computers that could survive a com complete hard drive wipe. Uh, dubbed LOJAX, the UEFI rootkit is part of a malware campaign conducted at the infamous Sednit group. Um, also known as the Fancy Bear Strontium, or so fancy, targeted several government organizations. Da 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 da. I'm not going to give it all to you because it's 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 pretty technical stuff. But um, let's see, uh, Sock Puppets says Facebook took two steps or took steps by connecting all these two media corps that <laughs> have never displayed the ability to be truthful. Yeah, that's that's true. I'm sure that's a big part of what they did. So if you're interested, if you if you wind up getting this this in your machine, um, unless you know what you're doing, you're going to have to take your machine to somebody that does know what they're doing, like me, except you can't come to me. Yeah, scary. Um, oh, uh, I, I could fix mine, but you couldn't probably fix yours. So well, most right? Years. No, you couldn't. No, I couldn't. Well, rootkits rootkits are abundant, sock puppet. But um, the thing is, they they don't usually go after your bios. They don't usually overwrite right. your bios. It's like a new one. It's like the Terminator <laughs> of fucking rootkits. Root yeah. So that's uh that's kind of a. It's kind of a deal there. And most people don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, I wouldn't know what that was until I had one on my computer. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had no idea what a root kit. Most people don't even fucking never even heard that term. Not yeah. unless you're a fucking, um, IS, you know, internet fucking, whatever they, IS, they call it IS at my work, I don't know. Internet, especially... Yeah, it's usually IT, most companies. Uh, IT, yeah, uh, Information whatever. technology. Yeah, uh, we call it the help desk. You know? <laughs> but, right. um, yeah, 
it, it, you know, most people don't even know what the fuck that is. You know, most people don't even run their antivirus all the time. You know, they just they just let the antivirus take over and then they update it and they don't even think twice about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. On, on a, yeah. um, a, a health beat story here, um, I guess that's what you would call this. And me, as being a, a big advocate of of the aspirins, um, <laughs> I like aspirin. Yes, I know. I take aspirin every day. Okay, good. Then you're then you're, clear, you're in the clear here. Um, okay, yeah, I'm according good. to this, an aspirin a day for cancer patients makes them twenty five percent more likely to survive their battle. So it says. Um, the taking of aspirin significantly increases the chances of survival for thousands of cancer patients. Uh, new research suggests. So I don't, I don't really need to give you too much on it. Like I said, it was just pretty much get you the headline and get you the information uh, to look at. All these links, by the way, are in the blog post, or will be in the blog post there tomorrow. So uh, you look for that tomorrow afternoon sometime, and uh, you'll you'll find these links if you're interested in any of these particular stories. Um, Let's see here. What else cool. do I got? Good for? Oh, oh. I, 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 I don't know. Would you call this health? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. I love when he laughs before he taps it on a story. It's always going to be good. You know it's going to be good. When you well, laugh. it's not good. It's horrible. But but they're, <laughs> they're they're talking about it like it's good. But it's horrible. McDonald's announces changes to classic burgers. Rest, restaurant aims to offer healthier, what? healthier products. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure, right, yeah. Uh-huh. So, so McDonald's has announced ingredient yep. ingredient changes to its classic burgers. The burgers have no artificial preservatives, no artificial flavors, no added colors from artificial sources. It, it doesn't mention they have no beef in them, but <laughs> you could pretty much count on that. Uh, it says the pickle contains a preservative, and customers are able to skip that if they prefer. Anyway, the, the ingredients uh, they change the, the hamburgers uh, include uh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers, McDoubles, quarter pounders with cheese, double quarter pounders with cheese, and Big Macs. Well, what about quarter pounders without cheese? Are, 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 <laughs> are those not included? <laughs> Anyway, health. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's a. I think that's a bad. Oh old. yeah, McDonald's. Fuck you, McDonald's. Fuck you. So I say McDonald's. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck off. Now, uh, uh, most I, I know that you don't most, and I and I, and I certainly don't. But some people. Um, this early. Ha- some some people um, decorate for Halloween. Yes, they and ha- do. And Halloween's Good coming time. up. Halloween's coming up just over a month from now. I know exactly what story you're going to talk about, because I heard about the radio. Well, tomorrow. because it's from West Fargo, North Dakota, apparently. Okay, uh, but I, I know what story, I think I know what story you're going to talk right. about. All so right, the headline, the headline, and this is on WDAY.com. Yes, uh, this is the story. Okay. It is, it's the same story I heard this morning. Yep, go ahead. Er, early Halloween decoration prompts yeah. 911 call. So, um, <laughs> an early Halloween direct, uh, decoration on his has neighbors in West Fargo concerned. One of them even called 911. It was an accidental trick long before they got any treats handed out. It's my favorite holiday, explained Becky Muzz. <laughs> it's, it's been since birth, actually. October 31st is also the their couple's wedding anniversary. Oh, okay. And Becky's We're birthday. Way into Halloween. Yeah, Becky's birthday's on the 29th. Halloween is kind of a good day for us. Over the weekend, Becky Muzz got a jump start on her Halloween decorations. Before, But before any of the eyeballs or inflatables went up, the first decoration was a window sign. It says, Help me! And it looks like it was written in blood. After putting it, putting it up, the muzz went out for a birthday dinner. Uh, how could it be a birthday dinner? That's not for another month. Anyway, whatever. Um, maybe it was his birthday dinner. I, I, I don't know. On their way home, they got the message from neighbors asking if they were okay. One man went as far as calling 911. Uh, that neighbor is none other than WDAY radio host Jay Thomas. 
<laughs> so I looked across the street and I see my neighbor's window with a sign that says, help me. And oh, oh, by the way, the big old bloody handprint. Um, Thomas says, that window has always had the curtains drawn. So I'm like, what's going on in there? He, he says he saw a cop car parked down the street uh, before calling the police. So I go down there and I, I look in the car and the person in there just motions me to get out of here. Tim said, Tim's like, whoa, something's not right here. Thomas called 911 and then messaged Becky. You know, I think he got that in, in reverse order. He should have messaged Becky first, and then he wouldn't have called 911, but whatever. She said, I didn't answer, and 15 minutes later, he's like, are you okay? Are you are you at home? And, <laughs> and I said, what? You had, a, you had a sign in your home that says, help me. And she was she was okay. She was okay. Yeah, she was out of dinner. <laughs> and the officer yeah, and, you know, but I'm sorry, that was stupid to put a help me sign. No, no, it's great. All the Halloween decorations around. <laughs> anyway, the cop showed I mean, up. Just take it down. If, I'm sure it was like on a cardboard thing or something. Uh, I take guess. it down before you. You know, oh well, I just got this one thing set up for my Halloween, and I'm going to go to dinner. My neighbors are going to freak because my curtains are normally drawn. All of a sudden, they're going to look out and just help me sign with a bloody <laughs> handprint. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's the, the, the cop who showed up told the couple that it happens all the time. Right. That's what he said. Yeah, that's what they said in the article this morning on the radio. And, and the radio host guy says, to my defense, there was no other Halloween, Halloween decorations out there. Right. Exactly. How would you know <laughs> that it was a Halloween prank? You wouldn't know, necessarily. <laughs> I, I, I understand that part. I understand that. I get that. Anyway, so I'd probably be freaked, too. I'd be like, if the neighbor's curtains are con it's like across the street or something. Their curtains are always drawn. All of a sudden, they're undrawn, and there's a help me sign with a bloody handprint. No other <laughs> Halloween decorations around. But what'd you think? Uh, <laughs> I think, well, I'll, if, if, if they got a bloody handprint like that, it's probably too late. Uh, I'm probably not going to be. At that point, sure. Yeah, you know, I, I, I probably. No, I wouldn't call. I, I mean, what the guy did, he called the cops because it looked weird, you know? <laughs> You know, I mean, people, Halloween people start decorating for Halloween on, like, September 1st, even though it's, well, like, two months away. Yeah. I mean, well, on. yeah, she said it's their favorite holiday, so what the hell? Right, yeah, you know, but seriously. Okay, here, okay. here's one for you from KOA. No, I don't want to die, Benoit. I'm not going to call the cops right now. I do not want to be killed. Thank yeah, you very much. No. Here's one for you from KOAT.com. Student okay. says... Ouija board claims school shooting would occur. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, a Pennsylvania high school right. Yeah, a Pennsylvania high school student reported a potential school shooting threat to the district leaders last week uh to district leaders last week based on a messages conveyed from a Ouija board game played over this summer. Altoona area district or school district located about 100 miles east of Pittsburgh posted a Facebook message Wednesday to address the school shooting rumors. Holy shit. But, uh, school leaders conducted an investigation. Of course. <laughs> After the student made the report, who said the, the shooting could happen on September 26th. And they interviewed students and parents and said the school shooting message originated while the student played with the Ouija board. Uh, there's no evidence to support this as a credible threat, the district said. You think? <laughs> what? You spent time investigating this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, wow. is, this is the people that are teaching your kids. Yeah, they, not mine no more. Thank God. Well, they're in college. so they, much better. But these, it's not public high school. These, oh are, these are the geniuses that are yeah, out there instructing, instructing yeah. your children. <laughs> right. Yes. Holy oh, crap. Oh, God. No, seriously, the redness is not in the way. Wow. Like from, awesome. After putting that fucking oil on there. That, that's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing, actually, really, because I know that it has a lot of lavender in it, the stuff she sent me. That's what she said in the chat to put on there, so it's working pretty good. I'm All surprised. Right. I'm impressed, actually. <laughs> All right, so anybody out there, you got fat kids? Any Anybody with fat kids? Um, I 
try. I did. I mean, I brought. I I I admit, I found some dolls when they were younger. All right. Well, you. But see, they were in sports, and they fucking. Luckily, they did not end up fat. Well, see, I I know people. I know that you're a germaphobe. Yeah, I am. My and, kids call me the germaphobe. And, yeah. and and there may be other people with fat kids that are also germaphobes. See, that's not me though. But, I don't have that game. But, but here, <laughs> here, here is the explanation. Uh, okay, let's hear it. Household cleaners may be contributing to excessive weight in children. I believe that. <laughs> I don't believe it. I, you know why? Because what are, it's, what are they, drinking the Ajax? or a disruptor or a neural disruptor, and it causes <laughs> disruptions in your brain and blockages because it's a chemical that's not good for you, and it can fuck up certain parts of your brain that cause you to over to eat. You know, the part of in your brain that has to do with eating, it could fuck that up. All you know right. What I'm well, according to this here, it's not anything to do with the brain. It says a study published by Canadian Medical Association Journal Bullshit. has found a link between household disinfectants and overweight children. No, no. This has to do with the brain. No, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. No, uh, the study suggests that cleaners and disinfectants may be altering the bacteria found in their gut. Okay, the bacteria in the gut. Okay, it's affecting right. that. But it's also affecting your brain because they're neurotoxins. These chemicals that are in these cleaners and shit are neurotoxins, and it's affecting your brain as well right. as maybe your gut. Okay, so the scientists looked at levels of bacteria, lactobacilli, whatever, in children when they were three to four months old, and contrasted it with levels tested at three years old. Infants living in homes where antimicrobial disinfectants were used weekly were found to have levels of lactobacilli twice as high as those who lived in homes where cleaners, these cleaners were used less frequently. Furthermore, children with high levels of the bacteria had a higher body mass index when tested at three years of age. Anyway, so there's that. I, I, you know, make of it what you will. I, I don't know. It's a Canadian scientist to begin with, so yeah, you know. <laughs> anyway, I gotta do the last set here. <laughs> oh, boy. So, don't let your kids drink the Ajax. That's bad. <laughs> or whatever. Mr. Clean. I don't, I don't know which one's a liquid there. Um, <laughs> so this track is for y'all. <laughs> Mason Rack Band there doing Black Betty live at the Blues Moose Cafe back from a few years ago. Uh, four years ago, I guess now. Uh, awesome version of Black Betty there. Before that, the Scorpions from back in 1972 doing I'm Going Mad. Uh, we had before that the Dead South doing the Dead South. And we kicked it off with Willie and uh, Merle and it's all going to pot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so, I hope so. I'll go in the pot. Whether you I like, hope the fuck so. Whether you like it or not. Um, no, it is. It's going to pot, baby. <laughs> I like it. I'm happy about it. Uh, all right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us yeah. here this evening on this Freakers Ball. We'll be back for another Freakers Ball next yeah, Friday sometime. night. Yeah, sometime. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, next week? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, be here. Yeah, next Friday night. And uh, tomorrow you got, you, got, you got the dork. Table. I, I think Vinny and Flash are both still doing it. I, I'm not, not sure. Computer crashes many times. What's that again? My computer crashes so many times. Oh yeah. Anyway, did so you hear that? Did you hear that? No, I did not. Yeah. It sounds like oh, see, you didn't hear the sound. Yeah. You know, no, right? I, I don't hear it. Any, anyway, so it might just be Flash doing the dark table. Vinny has a, a new show starting on 
wait, Vinny and Flash have a news show starting on Tuesday. A news show, really? And it's called A Perfect World, or In, what time? in, in A Perfect World. What time? Uh, 1 Eastern. You, see, you, you won't be here. I won't you're, be able to be But, but, but oh you'll, get the, God, you'll get the podcast. Right? You'll get the podcast, just like everybody. And, I know, uh, but really? Yeah, really. Yeah. Any, anyway, so shit. then uh, I'll be it's on. All good. I'm happy. I'm good. I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll be on Sunday at noon uh, with the blues for three hours uh, and the trivia here in the chat, leading on up into Hal Anthony doing his Behind the Wood Show gig that he do every Sunday. Open up the big old can of whoop ass. And uh, Grammy will be back Wednesday night and Friday night at 7 p.m., her regular scheduled yeah, time. Yeah, man. And uh, I guess that's all. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, have a good weekend, everyone. All right, peace. Peace.